My name is Nadine Bekdash. I was born in Majdalani and my, I am owner of the gallery Janine Rubez. Janine Rubez is my mother. She founded in 1967 a big cultural center who took a very big importance in the country where she could uh, show paintings, sculpture, uh, politics, a lot of politics, what all the problems we are living we are uh, living today with were discussed in 1970 in this uh, cultural center. It was in the, in the demarcation line of Beirut and in 76 it has uh, been destroyed by the war. The, the situation was uh, chaos a little bit like uh, in the beginning because the war was here in 1975. I, I, have uh, 20, uh, 12 years old and I left the war. Uh, it was very, very, very tough uh, situation. And uh, maybe it uh, reflect on my painting too, on my art too. Joseph Harab was doing very well. And he went and spent 10 years in the States and came back three years ago. So now it's, uh, we, are do, we are working again with him. I got an idea to, to work with the drill, I put the brush in the drill, the brushes in the drill. And uh, I thought like if I can put, uh, uh, instead my hand, put the machine and work with the machine and pouring painting. And this idea came come, come from Jackson Pollock. During the war, he was here, and he, would, he was still at his father's and mother. And every time the father and mother had to escape, and they, they took with them a lot of things, their belongings. And they always leave everything that is the one of Joseph Harab. So he was very upset because all the things he likes or he loves were left in the apartment. So, now and it's, it's his, his memory, his memory of the war. He's putting in boxes a lot of his things he likes, a picture, a photo, a little uh, sculpture, a little painting. These boxes are his memory of the war and the, and the thing that the father and mother left. The average prices of the, the, no, the, the paintings are from 6,000 to 9,000. $10,000. The very big one is $15,000 and the boxes is between five to $6,000. And it's not, the prices are not done because he is uh, not good, no. He, he deserves higher prices. But we are in a, in a difficult, uh, we are in a difficult situation. The Syrian crisis, of course, affected a lot, uh, all kinds of things in Lebanon, uh, everything in Lebanon, all economic, uh, and Lebanon was affected by, we have much less people. We want people to be at ease and to buy art. We want people to, to have the pleasure to buy art. We can tell to the people, look at this art, it, it is very good and it is not expensive and uh, please try to buy it and to put in your houses Lebanese artists. We are different people, we are not fanatic. We are not uh, what the, the idea they are giving of the Arabs and the Lebanese, and they put them in the same bag of the old Arabs and the Islamists. I don't believe we are. I believe that what I, I lived in, what I was born with, and my, the people I know in Beirut, and I, my Beirut is not like this. So I want to show always that we are not like this. And I want to show everybody that Lebanese artists are really very good artists. And I want to show that because of our struggle, because of the Lebanese artists, because of what I believe, Beirut will remain Beirut. Beirut didn't change.